Hello, my name is Kishwani. It's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our geometry skill. Today is our lesson number 30, day number 30. Today is our last day that we will deal with on the concept of rectangles and the squares. Starting from tomorrow, for the next 10 days, 31 to 40, I will either do problems dealing with the triangles, area of the triangles, or I will do for the next 10 days problems dealing with the concept of slope. So I have not decided yet, but one or the other. The first 10 days we covered the basic concepts with the introduction to the basic concepts where I did not solve any problems. Day 11 through 30, I did the problems dealing with the areas and the circumference of, of circles. Day 21 through 30, today is our day number 30, our last day. Last day we are dealing with rectangles and the squares. Now here is the problem for today. Very simple, very straightforward problem. Question simply is, what is the picture of the, what is, what is the perimeter of the picture given? Where is the picture that is given? This is the right angle, this is the right angle, this side is 10, this side is 10, this side is 10. This angle we are told is 30 degrees, we, uh, this angle we are told is 30 degrees. The question simply is, what is the perimeter of this picture? And here are the answer choices, 40, 44, 48, 50 and 60. I want you to pause the video now. Solve the problem yourself. Do not be uh, do not be impatient. Solve it yourself properly, and once you have the answer, you can resume it. Because once you know the solution, then uh, then the, then the game is up. There is no excitement. There is no point in trying to redo the problem that's already been done. You saw it how to do it. Pause the video and and and, uh, and start it again. I'll give you five minutes to pause and and resume. All right, here's the deal. Watch what happens here. We know that this is right angle. We know this is right angle and this is 10. If this is right angle, if this is forming a right angle and this is forming a right angle, then this side from here to here, if this is 10, this side must also be 10. Would you agree? But actually, let me do the solutions in a different color. Let me do the solutions in the, in the red, red marker. So you can see it. You can tell the difference between what was given and what we are doing right now. So. This side must also be 10. Very simple, very straightforward. Now, we are told that this we are told that this angle is 30. But if this angle is 30, then this angle must be 60. How do we know that? Because we are told that this is 10 and this is 10. This side equals to that side and it forms a 90 degree angle. Which means it's a square. This side must also, also form 90 degrees. That's the only way you're gonna you're gonna uh, uh, join this from this end to this end, that this is 10 and this is 10, and if this is 90, this would have to be 90. Similarly, since this is 30 degrees, this would have to be 60 degrees. What do you notice? Let's give, let's give these vertices names so, so, that, uh, so that we can talk about them. Let's call them A. Well, as I, I just told you that whatever we do in ourselves, we can do it in the red marker. A, B, C, D, and E. What I just did uh, right now to give this vertices name is purely for the convenience so that, so that I can talk about it. So now what do you notice in the triangle C, D, E? C, D, E. In the triangle C, D, E, we have two angles that are 60 degrees. Well, if two of the angles are 60 degrees, this one and that one, if two of the angles are 60 degrees, it stands to reason that the third one must also be 60 degrees. Angle D must also be 60 degrees. I'm calling that angle D. That must also be 60 degrees. This implies that the third angle must also be 60 degrees, which in turn implies it, tur it implies, it turns out, if that is true, well not if that is true, that is true. If this is 30, this would have to be 60, and if this is 30, this would have to be 60, and if this is 60, and this is 60, follow the logic, follow the logic. Okay, I'm going to start again. We are told that this angle is 30. We are told that this is 90 degrees. We are told that this side is 10, and this side is 10. If this side is 10, and this side is 10, and this forms a 90 degrees, it must also form a 90 degree here. Based on that, we know since we are told that this is 30 degrees, 
this must be 60. The same exact logic applies here. We are told that this is 30 degrees, therefore this must be 60. Now, if you look at the triangle CDE, in the triangle CDE, we just arrived at the conclusion that this angle is 60 and this angle is 60. Well, if two angles of a triangle are 60 degrees, then the third one must also be 60, because they have to add up to 180. Therefore, it turns out, therefore, it turns out, it implies that triangle CDE, CDE is in fact is in fact on equilateral triangle. It's an equilateral or equilateral triangle is where all angles are equal and all sides are equal. Here's an equilateral triangle. If I can draw one that is. If we are told that this is 60 degrees and if this is 60 degrees and if this is 60 degrees if all the angles are equal, then all the sides must be equal too. And we already know, and we already know that C to E, C to E plus is 10. Well, if C to E is, if C to E is 10, then, and we already know, and we know that C to E equals 10, right here, because A to B is 10. If A to B is 10, then C to E must also be 10. If C to E is 10, then C to D and D to E must also be 10. So it turns out C to D is 10, D to E is 10. Now I'm going to, so all five sides are 10. Now I'm going to put all of them in a different color. See if I can find a green marker here. So it stands out. C to D is 10. E to D is 10. A to E is 10. They are all 10. This picture is made up of 5 tens. It, it is made up of 5 sides, each of 10, each of length 10. 5 sides. A, B, B, C, C, D, D, E, N, a, e, and it turns out they are all ten, each ten, size of 10, 10 units long. Therefore, the answer is 50. That's it. Perhaps I've made it too complicated. Perhaps I explained too much. Sometimes I have a tendency of doing that. But I hope you get. I hope uh, you found it. You found it helpful. Therefore, the perimeter. The question was, what is the perimeter? Therefore, the perimeter of the picture equals 5 times 10 because there are 5 sides to it 50 right here that's it that was the end of it and that is our end for today that is our end today for the problems that I was planning to do on the concept of squares and rectangles in the next 10 days as I said starting from tomorrow you will find out I have not decided yet I will either do, I have two sets of problems ready and I am not sure which one I want to, I want to start. I will either, either do for 10 days problems dealing with the concept of slopes, which I have found from experience that many of many of students have problem with those uh, that concept in the exam. And this this particular problem or any problem that I, that for that matter, that, I, that I've been doing would, it would qualify just as well for the SAT or the GRE or the GMAT. There is no difference. These are basic concepts of geometry that you, that you must master. I will see you tomorrow, okay? Either with, the, with, either with the problems dealing with the slopes, uh, 10 problems for the next 10 days, 31 through 40, or 10 problems dealing with the concept of triangles, areas of the triangle, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Sorry, they should say it implies that the third angle must be must also be sixty. 
and that implies that the, and, and that in turn implies that the triangle CDE CDE is in fact an equilateral triangle. <coughs>